Hey guys, how's it going? Button mod on 14. Got another stream of you, Civilization 3 for you guys. Um, yeah, last time we finished our uh, campaign, you know, there against the Romans. Um, and we also learned the, uh, like, the stuff for navigation, so we finally crossed the ocean. Connect our harbors and stuff. <laughs> uh, there is a lot of ocean left to explore, so... Um, I think the two things we're going to focus on is that, and, um, basically, like, now, now that we accomplished that, there's kind of a big void as far as, uh, yeah, areas that we can settle, um, you know, they're on the, uh, on the other continent, so, I think that's what we'll do, we'll just kind of focus on, uh, yeah, settling, you know, basically, uh, building as many new cities as we can on the new continent. to declare war on next. Um, like, honestly, hmm. hmm, yeah, I honestly don't know, because uh, both civilizations seem pretty, uh, hmm. it'll definitely be a different animal, taking them on. Um, hmm, I may actually wait until we get a upgrade for our, uh, our war elements. Uh, because right now, I think both of the other civilizations, the uh, Inca and the Greeks, uh, they they have they have knights, which are basically they're kind of on par with our war elephants. In fact, knights are slightly better because they can defend slightly better. So, um, I think one of them also has musketmen. So, um, yeah, I'm not real sure. We may wait until we can upgrade past musketmen and past uh, war elephants and knights. And there's definitely a way to do it, but uh, eh, we'll see. Uh, for now, I, I will move like all the troops I have into position in case they declare war on us first, you know. But uh, yeah, that's the plan for this stream, and uh, yeah, let's do it. So in the meantime, we'll just basically try to improve uh, the cities that we do have. So, yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, if you guys decide to watch, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Or if you decide to check out the VOD later. All right, guys, let's play. Last time I backed off the, uh, yeah, the happiness slider, which, you know, usually I do keep it 10% at Republic, um, but we can upgrade, like, a lot of our ships now to Caravel, so I think I'll leave the slider on. Also, um, let me check around a few of the cities, because I know, like, I was, uh, I was working on hurrying some improvements, like, here, yeah, hurry, like, a harbor and a library, yeah, see, these guys have musketmen, that's, that's honestly really, really good. Um, so yeah, I don't know if we'll be invading, you know, anyone anytime soon. Of course, if they declare war on us first, we will strike back, but, um, let's check around, let's see. Um, okay. Um, because I was hurrying a few improvements. Um, okay, I think we might be good. Let's see. Check up here. Okay. Yeah, because there were a few places I was... I think up here we're fine, yeah, we're fine with everywhere up here. Uh, probably build another musketman here, to be honest. Um, okay, let me just check over here real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think after I build an aqueduct and a cathedral here, yeah, I'll probably work on building a... Uh, JS Box and Cathedral. I think I'm gonna put it on this continent because it seems well, I don't know. The size of this continent. Hmm. It's almost like an equal size, really. But I think this continent right here is just slightly bigger. Yeah. Hmm. There are a lot of unexplored areas on this continent as well. So if we can uh, get some explorers, that would honestly help. 
That way we kind of know what we're dealing with in terms of the opponent's resources. Uh, so that's a good goal for this stream. We'll try for that. Uh, actually, can we build explorers now? Or do I have to wait until... Oh, we can. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. You just started the courthouse. What about you? How, how quickly could you get one? Oh, right away. Okay, yeah, that's... Because you already have a courthouse, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Um... What about right here? How quickly could you guys get it? Because you have courthouse too, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, how quickly could you build an explorer? Maybe like two or three explorers? Yeah, nice, nice, okay. And then what about you guys? Um, mm, only wasting two shields. Mm, no, we'll keep the barracks there. Um, what about... These guys are still working on courthouses. Um, what about right here, actually? Yeah. I'm gonna let you build an explorer. It, it should be a little faster than 10 after the city grows a bit. Yeah, because you got a courthouse. And then maybe one more right here after these guys build a harbor. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Because uh, explorers can move. Um, they basically kind of ignore the normal terrain. And they can move like, um, well, you guys will see, you guys will see, but they can basically move like six squares at a time, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, and they count as like non combatant units as well, so. Anyway, let's head on out. Okay, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. as well drop you guys off right here. Okay. Sure, let's go down here. Actually, let's have you come in here and upgrade. Yeah, let's have you go right here. Okay, we'll upgrade you. irrigation up here. I think that's going to be the other goal of the stream is, yeah, yeah, you see how this city's going to run pretty slow? Basically get irrigation all the way, you know, up here, you know, all the way over here. Yeah, because I don't even have irrigation over here at all, so, yeah, that's definitely going to be a goal for this stream, so. And, matter of fact, let's have you guys come down here and start helping. I can always replace the workers here, uh, but... Eating irrigation is very important for all of our cities to help them grow. Uh, yeah, so I guess to help get irrigation started here, I ultimately need to clear out some forests, so let's do that. Okay. And yeah, you can get rid of the warrior now. Like all the exploring is done here, so um, yeah. Guess I'll just have you guys go here and upgrade. And, uh, yeah, looks pretty good to me. Okay. All right, so let's go upgrade here.
shields here, yeah. So, let's see. I guess I'll clear this, because uh, either way it'll help. I'll either get 10 shields here or 10 here, so. So we'll have these guys start building a road. That way we connect these guys to the front door. basically put any of the musket men I deliver basically as close to here as possible yeah, as close to the uh, Inca so definitely I'll put an additional one here and then we'll put like we'll basically yeah try to shore these like these new cities up for sure that sounds like a good idea because um, I, I don't have many musket men coming here but I mean still definitely sounds like a good idea have all you guys come in here to upgrade. Okay, and then you can still go this. Um, okay. Uh, and what do you have right here? Oh, okay. Um, I guess I can have one of you guys, maybe, let's take a look up here, actually. I actually have three units of settlers. Um, hmm. Hmm, interesting. Um, let's have one of you guys probably unload right here. Let's see. So, one, two, three, four. That could be fine, I guess. Okay. Yeah, let's have you guys go ahead and just unload right here. There you go. We'll have the rest of these guys keep pushing south. Okay. Do I have anyone to transfer? I do. Okay. Alright. There we go. Nice. Okay. I guess I'll have this uh, ship come back over here. I 
should have a few extra ships, like a few more extra than normal here. So let's see if I can build some, uh, some settlers here. I'll do, I think I'll do like, let's do, let's see, we got one, two, let's do four, yeah. So there's one, two, uh, have you upgrade the spear mill? to Carol too. Okay, yeah, you go ahead and build a settler as well, and I'll just upgrade this. There we go. Okay. Alright, uh, let's go here, here. Okay. And for you, let's have you just, yeah, looks like we're good, so just have you head check on the stream and stuff make sure we can see everything i'm pretty sure we can but uh yeah let's do that and then let's uh check my check my feed here and tweet out and stuff let's see do, do, do. and this google chrome open and there we go and we'll go here. Mm hmm I'll share. Tweeter. Do, 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 do. It's so weird that now there's an X symbol uh, whenever you go to Twitter. It makes me think like the page is glitching out, but uh, I wonder whose bright idea was to change that. It's kind of weird, man. Not going to lie. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. And let's close that now. And I think all I need to do now is check on the audio. So let's do that. I'll minimize this chat window. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So I'll check on the other one. Uh, 
by the way, what, my, I think my light's still on. Yeah, what's my light on? I don't really need it for this. So. start checking on stuff a lot earlier <laughs> since I had that one mishap about uh <laughs> and I was like uh three or four streams ago yeah I can't believe it but I uh, it was during the uh, master goal event I streamed like a whole like uh what was it like three hours and um oh I should probably wait for that aqua duck but yeah I streamed I ended up streaming like a whole three hours and like you could hear the audio you could hear the audio but the video feed wasn't even like even remotely close. And if I had to go with that one, you know, if I had to have one thing glitch, it would definitely be the audio, not the video. <laughs> Cause you know, I can fix that. I can post commentate that or whatever, but that was bad. Um, let's see. Guess I could use some more forest here. So. <laughs> yep, that was pretty bad. Anyway, let's go. go here, help these guys, um, oh there's only two right here, so yeah, let's go help these guys, okay, yep, definitely want to start checking on stream, uh, you know, earlier in the stream, <laughs> oh boy, shields here. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Settler as well. So you need to go actually toward this guy. Okay, and then, let's see. Uh, hmm. Oh, already moved. Okay, okay, right, right. Uh, let's have you go here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Again, that's the nice part. And now that these oceans are connected, I can transfer like all the extra cavalry and uh, crusaders we're getting from the uh, the wonders we made earlier in the game. Yeah, I can basically have them all head due east, and you know it's actually pretty close to the areas we want to fortify anyway. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, let's see, where should I have you head? Um, hmm. I'll just have you head here and upgrade. That sounds good, honestly. as well. Okay, so... Oh, you can move. Okay, in that case, have you head this way? Yeah. Alright. Um... Ooh, and you have a settler. Wow. Okay, uh... You already moved there, right? Oh no, you haven't. Okay. Let's see. Just kind of messed up some movement there. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll head east here. So. I think we've explored all the ocean up top. Uh, let's see. E. Yep, looks like we just discovered all that. That what remains is definitely on bottom. Okay. Okay, so everyone on top can go upgrade. Uh, let's just have you go here. Okay. All right, sweet.
and as you can see here, yeah, explorers are unarmed, non combat units that treat all terrain as if it's a road. Yeah, so it actually makes it very handy to explore uh, areas you haven't. And, um, yeah, uh, I know we'll be invading enemy territory, but they seem to not be as threatened by, you know, non combat units. So that's why explorers are perfect. Uh, yeah, and you learn these with the astronomy, so that's awesome. Basically, we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to explore everything we have in on land, you know, down here, so, with all the explorers we've made, so, uh, yeah, that's the plan there. Dude, did I make a temple here? I hope so. Oh, I did, okay, okay. Uh, um, so we'll expand next turn. Okay, that'll work. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what, for now, because this worker won't be built on time, so for now, let's just build a... Uh, maybe I could build a harbor here? Yeah, that's a good idea. Help the city grow a bit, so... There we go. Okay. I know they built new Chuito right here, but honestly, if we could grab a city, probably like right here, uh, or anywhere close to this uh, fish and this, uh, yeah, bonus grassland and stuff, it would honestly be pretty good. I'm thinking probably like right here, maybe? Yeah, that would honestly be pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, and that would be how far away from this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. As a matter of fact, let's try blocking the way since that looks pretty good. So I doubt they'll have ships here since so they just, well, they could have a ship from here, but uh, let's just try to block the way. So let's go here. Wake all these guys up. Yeah, let's have you go here. Have you go here. Probably shouldn't leave this area void actually, so let's have you go back here. There you go. Okay, and then. Okay, and then before I forget, I'll have all you guys come down here. Yeah, there we go. Lock it in. Okay, and in case I want to clear this marsh, uh, which I might want to do, let's go here. That, I don't think they can land here anymore, which is good. Yeah, they can't land, like, with a ship or anything. Or go, you know, they can't go through the sea either. So. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we'll just spread out everyone who's left here, so. One here, one here. We're just basically blocking the roads that the Romans, the Romans left, so. Yeah, oh, is there a settler right here? No, no, no. I was about to say. I was about to say, I could just redirect those guys. But, uh, it's just the reinforcements. Um, okay, so it's so only my second worker, so I'll build another one. Hmm, the spices should be clear here pretty soon, though.
these came off the other ship. Uh, yeah, like I said, let's fortify these areas down here. Um, let's go ahead and play a musket man. You know what, let's have one head to where I want that new city to be. So, like I said, one, two, Let's have one hit right here. Ultimately, I think it'll be more optimal if I just clear this forest. Yeah, well, I guess I could go from here. Yeah, I guess I could go straight down, actually. Never mind, so let's go here. Yeah, that'll work. Build a road to the, uh, where the Forbidden Palace is. Take the irrigation. Sounds good. Yeah. Alright, you were upgraded. Let's just have you guard out here in case the barbarians come come up up there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's have you go. Uh, any units I need to transfer? No, not really. Um, let's just have you go here. Okay. And we'll have the rest of these galleys here in this region upgrade because we're all done up top, up north. So. Uh, looks like the nearest harbor is right here, specified. Right, down you go. Um, down you go. Okay. Oh, whoops. Here. Have you go wherever. Uh, up here. And have you go right here. Same place. Yeah. Right here. Okay, and this has a settler, so let's pay attention. Uh, let's see. I think I want to have you head. Yeah, 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 yeah. This way. Okay, so how do we go this way? Okay, you're free to upgrade. Double back here. I think it originally came from this area too. So just have to go there. In case I need any ships there for any reason. Yeah. 
Ooh, okay, so they've learned education. Okay, good to know. Hmm, we got quite a bit of luxuries we could trade. They don't have anything we want, so... Eh, you know what, they're pretty furious with them. Let's give them a little bit of gold. There you go. Yeah, these guys have the knight, so I definitely want to keep them keep off of war as long as possible. But uh, hmm. eventually, the AI will declare war. On you. Seems like no matter what you do. Yeah, sorry about that. Um. Yeah, and they've learned education as well. Okay. How about we give you twenty-one gold, Alexander? And they don't have any resources we want either. Mm, they don't have salt heater. Interesting. Okay. okay. Oh, and we've completed Copernicus Observatory. Yes. Pretty cool. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this yeah double scientific research. So that's good. Yeah. So there you go. A lot of uh, a lot of wonders here in the city. Colossus. Yeah. Yes. And hmm, I'm still thinking if I want to build the cathedral here. Uh, yeah, because it decreases by two per city, but it's only on the continent. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still thinking about it. So. Hmm. And these guys haven't learned music theory yet, so it's not like I have to worry about them beating me to it. Um, yeah. So. Harper, okay. Yeah, now you can build the worker. Nice. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's just go with a...
I didn't even think about it before, but it looks like we can blockade, well, especially now that we have the city here, we can kind of blockade this area off right here. So, like, all these units that are right here, they can't get through right now, unless they use, like, some kind of ship or something. Probably go here, use a ship, jump over. Uh, but honestly, that's kind of good for us, so, okay. Yeah, so now we've got, uh... Now we've got Inca blocked in, you know, from this side, from the east, and from right here. So that's honestly pretty good control as far as the continents go. So it goes. Like, I, I realize they have coastal cities, you know, all around here. But, uh, I mean, that's still pretty good. <laughs> okay, everything in chat looks all good. Let's go. pretty good yeah it allows us to build banks as you might think but uh more importantly yeah it increases the tax revenue by 50 percent so yeah you have to have marketplace first but this will definitely help our economy so pretty good uh what do we want to learn next probably economics let's see economics yeah wealth causes shield to be converted at a gold uh, yeah a, a four to one when your civilization learns economics ratios reduced to two to one 
Not to mention Smith's Trading Company. This is pretty important. Pays maintenance costs for all, all the following. Harbors, marketplaces, banks, airports, commercial dock, and stock exchanges. So that's pretty good. So I think we'll learn this next. So. And then after that, we'll probably get into free artistry and, uh, yeah, go for this. Yeah. Okay. Alright, sounds good.
pretty much like we did when we discovered uh, education and how to build all the universities. Yep, basically we're going to stop everyone from doing wealth right now and have them learn, uh, have them start building some banks. So, definitely help us out. I, I probably should have done this last turn, but I honestly I forgot. I forgot we even learned how to do that. So, let's see. thing I, I usually just do is just basically like yeah, all you do is look for the symbol the symbol with the stack of uh what looks like uh you know ancient coins or whatever just look for that and switch it over Let's see there we go yeah and if i miss like one or two cities that's fine you know it's not a big deal like another way to there's like quite several ways to win this game um one of them is with like a a, a cultural vit victory which basically if you have like really 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 high culture compared to everyone else and you own like a certain percentage of the uh available continents then you can win uh another way is you know just um you know eliminate all the adversaries that's another way uh and there's also, there's like a space race victory, which honestly is pretty fun. And uh, I probably will try for that next, like, you know, definitely going to just try to finish this game as is. Uh, but the next victory, I definitely want to show off the space race victory. Because that's probably one of the most fun to go for, honestly. And what's, what's, fun, what's great about the space race victory is you don't even need to really go to war to achieve it. You can just kind of... Basically, yeah, concentrate all of your efforts on, like, libraries, uh, universities, etc. Everything to boost your, you know, research. So, kind of an interesting way to win. Um, I guess you can build up some units basically just to defend, you know. Because, like I said, eventually other civilizations will attack you. Uh, it's just a matter of time, so. But, uh, yeah. But what's funny is, yeah, you can focus just more on defensive units, you know. Uh, stocking more defensive units than usual, and just, uh, yeah, go about it that way. Um, right. And basically, you can just go to war, like, you know, if a certain resource is blocked and you want it, um, you know, like salt beater or something, that's probably a good idea to go for if you're going for a space race victory or, um, you know, other resources that we have yet to unlock, like horses. I can understand, you know, going to war for that just to ward off, you know, enemy attacks. Because if you stop them from getting horses, you know, that makes your, that makes defending easier, you know. Yeah, and you can go with, like, more uh, cannons and, uh, you know, trebuchets and uh, catapults, stuff like that, which also help boost your defenses. So, yeah, because you may have noticed, like, um, you know, ever since earlier in the LP, I haven't really been building many, uh, catapults and trebuchets. Uh, it's just because, I mean, I mean, they do help, don't get me wrong, but, um, yeah, you know, um, they are a little slower as far as, uh, you know, if you're going about, like, a slow, you know, kind of warfare strategy, they're more effective, you know. But, you know, we've got war elephants as our special units, and they can move twice, and so no matter what the situation, we're probably going to outspeed any catapults and uh, artillery units, really. So, that's why I didn't really go for them too much in this playthrough. I did, I did a little earlier, you know, when some of the uh, cities were close, like with France and uh, England and stuff, but now, yeah, not so much. But, but yeah, like in a space race victory... Um, yeah, basically catapults, usually every time they attack, uh, a catapult has a chance to, you know, fire on them and get, basically get like a preemptive hit. So, honestly, that's not a bad defensive strategy if you're going for space race. Focus on, like, catapults, your research, and, uh, yeah, you know, more defensive units than usual. Like, usually I'll put, like, two or three in the city. If you're going for a space race, you know, like, you know, 
four or five, maybe even six, like in your capitals in the cities you, you're building wonders in. Not a bad strategy, honestly. Yeah. And then whenever you're ready to expand with settlers, you can just, you know, borrow one of the five and then, uh, yeah, peel it off, build a settler, and expand from there. Yep, definitely. Uh, and, like, and like, what's funny is the reason I want to share with Space Victory uh, the next uh, save file we stream, uh, it's, it's not even because uh, I want to show the animation or anything. No, no, no. The fact is, is like once you get to future technologies, the music just sounds badass. Uh, well, I mean, well, you know, it's nothing like, well, let, let me just say it's my favorite music in the game. You know, once you get to the that era, you know, to where you can learn uh, spacecraft stuff definitely my favorite music in the game so yeah but i just thought i'd show you know kind of a simple you know basically my goal in this one was it was and still is to basically get a victory by combat that's how you'll probably get a lot of victories in this game but uh yeah figured we do that and then you know next one we'll go for something a little different yeah, i think we're almost done here oh we're all the way all the way down to 44 gold per turn but it's okay the banks will basically help bump that up, so... Right. And actually, let me check what time we're at. I may want to end stream here soon. But I definitely want to save all that work, though. There we go. So let's see. The time is... Uh... 11... 11.49, huh? Uh, well, I'll tell you guys what. Um... Let's just, uh, yeah, let's see, how long have I been streaming? Yep, right about two hours. Um, hmm, yeah, we've got everybody switched over to banks. Now let's do, like, one more turn. Yeah, let's do, like, one more turn and call it good. Call it a, call it a day, call it a stream. And, uh, yeah, we will continue next time. Sounds good. Ancient Calvary, so I'll have you go right here. Yeah, start loading these ships up. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, and that's good. Let's build a bank. That's probably good. Yep, bank time. And okay, so okay, there we go. Right, let's load these ships up. Transfer to this one. Very good. We'll wait there. Wait there. Wait there. Uh, what's this one at? Uh, we can probably build a bank here. Uh, we just upgraded, so we'll just fortify there. I'm gonna clear this for so we can move the irrigation through. Very 
yeah, we finally got irrigation here in New Jai Jai Route 23. So let's do Magellan's Voyage 2, which, uh, yeah, that'll provide all of our, um, naval units one extra movement. Kind of like the Great Lighthouse. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, that's good. Clear some of this stuff out. south here. Uh, maybe I should leave this unit here, honestly. Um, yeah, because you, you two are about to clear this out. So, and honestly, it's nice to have a little naval presence here on some of these islands. So, hmm. You know what? I'm going to start having this one patrol, you know, kind of this southern area uh, in case barbarians ever show up. That's probably a good idea. These guys stay here, and we'll move these guys out. And here we go. So we'll name this.
Oh wait, I actually don't need to clear that one out, but it's okay. I'll we'll just go there anyway. Uh, help these guys out. to get all of this uh, with the bonus grassland and the tropical fruits, but hopefully I beat them here to get all the wheats here, ultimately what I'm after. As a matter of fact, now that I know that those guys are there, let's try to cut them off, so go here, let's go here, okay, and we'll go here. the guys we just moved, so let's go here, cut these guys off, and then, very good, very good, okay, and we'll basically just try to box, box in these guys with the medieval infantry, so. those four settlers pretty quickly and I didn't build you know too many more than that because I figured the other civilization can and probably will catch up so uh, let's see um, can I transfer you guys oh, it doesn't matter we're pretty close either way yeah yeah it's cool um I'm just gonna just go ahead and unload it right here so that'll work uh, I think this city's done Delhi too. Um, oh, I can change this to forest if I want. I think I will. Okay. Oh, and this square too. Okay. Nice. Oh, also I can develop this square right here. Uh, let's just build forest here, actually. There you go. Um, right. You guys are. So actually, one, two, three, 
This ship's in a pretty good position, so I'm just going to probably end the turn with it. Yeah, I'm just making sure there's nothing else I need to transfer. Okay, yeah, so... One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, so, just end that. Uh, you guys can start heading back. we can start exploring with this explorer. There we go. Uh, we'll just block this road right here for now. Okay. Checking up here. Okay. Very good. Okay, you guys are free to go. Basically, a lot of the extra workers are going to have them st start helping with the irrigation process. Because, uh, yeah, basically, we got to get the irrigation. Probably that's the, the goal for next stream. Get the irrigation from here all the way over here. So that's going to take a little while. So. Right. Yeah, because I don't... Like, I don't see any other closer... Well, I guess this is a closer water source. So maybe I could have these guys split up. Have these guys... You know, help start it, bring it right here. And spread it. And then, yeah, definitely help these guys. You know, help all these guys here. So. Alright. This one will be slightly better, and the main reason is because it will be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, yeah, it's like the halfway point right here. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, that's like almost the exact halfway point, so we'll go for that one. It's like almost perfect. Okay. There we go. So here we go. Uh, can I transfer you guys? I cannot. Okay. Uh, let's just hit it. Um, I guess you guys, I will just. Confirmed in this ship. Huh. That's a thought, yeah. Because uh, there's actually still. I haven't fully, you know, um, put settlers on this island yet, actually. There's like probably two or three cities. Uh, I can get a city for this. Probably right here. Yeah. And then maybe one right here would be good enough with the fish and the, uh, the grassland. So. Uh, by the way, no water source here either, which hmm, does kind of change some things as far as how I usually go about improving the cities. But I think it works out. I'll just have to keep it in mind when I decide on what spot to build the city on. Okay, so it'll be one, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm just going to go there. Go here. Go here. Skip here. Skip here. Right, let's cut these guys off. Yeah, okay. Let's go here. Uh, go here. 
him. Let's go here. There we go. Yeah, now we got him kind of. Basically, we're gonna we're gonna force him to go to the left or right here. So I like that. Looks like we made it to the end of the turn on this one. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you guys decide to watch the VOD on YouTube later, appreciate you guys. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. You guys have a good night. Bye-bye. And, yeah, feel free to check out some other stuff I'm doing as well. Uh, yep, yeah, as you guys know, my YouTube, same as my Twitch name, Flood in Mod 14. And yeah, over there on YouTube, we got some cool stuff. We got, uh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories going on right now. We got Pokemon Platinum Randomizer, Final Fantasy VIII. And we've got Pokemon Trading Card Game, as well as Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, Legacy of Goku 2. Oh, also, recently started some Naruto Ninja Storm 2. Heck yeah. <laughs> so, if feel free to check any of that out. Or if this is your thing, Civilization, uh, yeah, we'll have some more next time. All right. You guys have a good day. Good night. Thanks for watching.